I don't even know what to make of this. Oh man, I, I, I'm I'm convinced the NBA is rigging some of these games. Go, oh! MWT. Here again with another video that we need to talk about because uh, December third recaps for the NBA uh, starting. We're gonna go over these really quick. I need you guys to. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. And um, I think I have to do a little bit of cleanup right here. Let me go to recent uh, people who have subscribed to my channel. Because, oh, I've got a bunch that just subscribed. Shout out to the abominable LeBron. Shout out to the abominable LeBron. Dude is just, he, he's, a, he's great. Dude is great. I love that dude. He's nice. He he just he just bashes LeBron. Dude's incredible in what he does, and he makes great videos. So uh, shout out to the abominable LeBron. Um, what else? Shout out to this one YouTuber. Like his name starts with a P or something. Like Ping you know, or whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't know. Prabin Gurung. That's his name. Shout out to him, and uh, shout out. To duct tape fashions. Yeah. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel. So um, with that out of the way. Um, let's get into these games. The first game we've got to go over. The Detroit Pistons beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 127-94. to um, Yeah, that happened. Detroit's main scorer, Blake Griffin, 24 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. And for Cleveland... Colin Sexton with 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Matchup-wise, the Cavs only led by 4 points in the first quarter. Um, after that, they never led. They let the Pistons go up by 35 towards the end of the game. And, yeah, the Pistons win 127-94. to 94. A complete and utter blowout. Now, um, next game we've got to go over. Orlando took on the Washington Wizards. And, of course, the Orlando Magic won. 127 to 120, the final score. Orlando's main scorer, Evan Fournier, with 31 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. And for Washington, it was none other than Bradley Beal with 42 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. Matchup-wise, the Wizards only led by 1 point. And that was after Orlando led by 18 in the second quarter. They led by one point in the third quarter. And then they blew that and let the Orlando Magic go up by 18 points again. And the Orlando Magic win by 7. I don't know how you do that. You go up by 18. You then surrender a one point lead. And then all of a sudden, boom. You're up by 18 again in the fourth quarter. Next game. This went to overtime. And I'm truly disappointed. I am truly disappointed. The Heat beat the Toronto Raptors 121 to 110 in overtime. The box score. Two players on the Heat tied. Jimmy Butler, 22 points, 13 rebounds, 12 assists, one steal. Duncan Robinson, 22 points, two rebounds, one assist, and one block. I'm giving it to Jimmy Butler, who had the better night because of the triple double. And Toronto's main scorer off the bench, Norman Powell. 23 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. That's not what I'm disappointed about. The Heat were up by 11 points in the third quarter. They came back from down 5 in the first quarter. Up by 11 in the third. Now, this game went to overtime. Um, and, of course, the Miami Heat also won the game by 11, their largest lead. In overtime, the Heat won overtime 13 to 2. Let me go into the overtime stats and sh tell you who scored the only Toronto bucket of overtime. Cuz I'm disappointed. You know why? It wasn't even a bucket. It was two free throws. By Norman Powell. You don't even score a bucket in overtime. The only thing you have is two free throws in overtime. That is pathetic. 
And the Raptors got exposed against the Miami Heat. I want to talk about this is a great team without Kyle Lowry. It just got exposed. What happens when Kyle Lowry is going to come back? Oh, Flopping Fish is going to come back. Oh, we know it. The Flopping Fish will return. Next game we got to go over. Dallas Mavericks taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. The Dallas Mavericks, of course, won this game. 118-97. to Man. Luka Doncic is on a tear. Dallas, their main scorer, Luka. 33 points, 18 rebounds, a career high. 5 assists. And for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Matchup-wise, Pelicans... We're actually up by 11 points in the second quarter. They blew that, of course. Let the Mavericks go up by 23 points and win the game by 21. So, yeah, that's how that game turned out. Yeah. Pathetic. Next, this game was also kind of kind of pathetic. And the fact that the Houston Rockets lost this game. 135 to 133 in double overtime due to Harden having a disallowed dunk. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. Harden had a disallowed dunk. 7.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Do you think that would have changed the game? Because here's the thing, the Spurs outscored the Rockets 34-18 to in the fourth quarter, tied overtime 11-11, and won double overtime 9-7. You know what the box score was? Houston's main scorer, of course, was James Harden. I'm not even going to tell you how trash he was. He had 50 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals. Great! You are 11 for 38 from the field? 4 for 20 from 3? You were perfect from the free throw line with 24 for 24. The only reason why you're having these incredible games is because you're getting more free throws than anybody else in the world. 11 for 38 is pathetic. It's pathetic. 4 for 20 from the 3 point line is also pathetic. You're a selfish scorer, James Harden. Play more team ball. Because honestly, this is just, this is sad. Russell Westbrook had a 19-10-10 triple-double. He shot 7 for 30. That's pathetic. He isn't like you. Aren't you supposed to be the MVP? 50 points on this terrible shooting. Don't even play the game again. Because this is what's going to happen. Either they give the Rockets the win by adding the point in regulation and basically say, oh, the Rockets win in regulation. Or they have to replay the game from that point. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was on the. I was ba- basically vouching for the fact that you should play it from that point. No. After I saw the box score, no. You shouldn't. Because that's pathetic. If James Harden had shot had made 45% like he's the MVP, we wouldn't have this problem in the first place. And this is why I think sometimes James Harden's overrated, but he's a great scorer. Just no. Team's horrible. I mean, here, let me tell you why. 13 and 7 in the Western Conference, you are fifth. Two games ahead of Utah. Three games ahead of Minnesota. Four games ahead of Phoenix. You are one and a half games behind Dallas. A team I thought was going to be ninth in the Western Conference. What is going on? What is going on in Houston? People are just ridiculous. It's just, it's not helped. It's, It's not necessary. Honestly. Like, that's going to continue. James Harden's going to keep being a selfish scorer, and that's it. We're just not going to be able to save ourselves. Uh, okay, next game. Um, Lakers beat the Nuggets 105-96. to um, In this game, 
I'm giving the better game to Anthony Davis. 25 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 block. And uh, let 3 and 6 had 25 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists, and 4 turnovers. And I'm giving this game to Anthony Davis because he was the clear-cut better player on this team with a plus rating of 11 compared to 4. Now, Denver's main scorer was Jamal Murray with 22 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. Matchup wise, the Nuggets were only up ever by 5 points. That was at the beginning of the game. They never led, let the Lakers go up by 13, in which the Lakers promptly blew that, but they still got the lead back. So, yeah. That's about it. And let me just say one thing. The 3 and 6 dancing around and clowning around on the sideline in his socks is pathetic as well. You're supposed to be the best player in the league. On one of the best teams. And you're doing that? No. No, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now for a fact. That there's got to be some sort of expectation on the sideline to not clown around. Like, with the Brooklyn Nets, they're, like, dancing. Like, yeah, they're celebrating. They're celebrating, like, you know, like, oh, he made a three. Oh, my God, yeah, we're going to we're gonna dance or shimmy or whatever it is. But you're clowning around without your shoes on, without your uniform fully on. This is what I call pathetic, too. Now, the last game, the Clippers beat the Trailblazers 117-97. Portland... Their main scorer was C.J. McCollum with 20 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Carmelo had 9 points, okay. But um, the Clippers, their main scorer off the bench, Montrezl Harrell, with 26 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. Matchup-wise, Portland Trailblazers were only up by 4 points in the second quarter, 3 different times. They let the Clippers, at the end of the game, go up by 24 and win the game by 20. That happened. So, make sure you like the video and subscribe to, to the channel if you're new. I will see you guys in the December 4th recaps because we got to get those also rolling out. So, this ain't a rant video. This isn't a rant. This wasn't meant to be a rant. I'm just sick of it. This is not what the NBA is supposed to be. Okay? Peace.